Circle and its properties. Part 2. Today we will learn what is the relation between the radius and circle. Remember what did sir tell us about circle yesterday? Yes, I remember it well. Circle is a closed shape where all the points located on it are at an equal distance from the center. Do you remember what the center of circle is? Yes, I remember. The point inside the circle which lies in the middle of a circle is called the center of circle. Now can you talk about diameter? A straight line that passes through the center of the circle and meets both sides of the circle is called the diameter of circle. Now remains the radius. You tell me about it. The distance from the center of the circle to the boundary is called radius. Now tell me what will we measure if we have to measure the circle. That's easy. You can measure either radius or diameter but radius will be easier to measure because it is smaller than diameter. Yes, it is not only small but it is half. Remember, sir told that the radius is diameter divided by 2. It means diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. Let's uh, measure something. Let's measure these 4 tyres. Then we will tell sir. Which tyre should we measure first? Let's measure the tyre of our bicycle first. Ok. Hmm, so we have to measure its radius. Yes, and the radius means the distance between the center and the boundary. Here is the center of the wheel of the cycle. But which point on the boundary of the bicycle do we measure the distance from this center? There are many points in it. Measure to any point. The measurement will be equal because the center is at an equal distance from the boundary of the circle. Right, let's measure up to this point. Ok, now let's measure the distance between these two points using a scale. Radius of the wheel of bicycle is 9 inches. Let's now measure its diameter as well. Hey, why do we need to measure it? We can find it only by measuring the radius. How? Look, the radius is also called the half of diameter. This means that the diameter will be twice the radius. Got it? Oh, that means if we multiply the radius by 2, then the measure of diameter will be known. Yes, radius is 9 inches and multiplied by 2, it will be 18 inches. This means that the diameter of the wheel of our bicycle is 18 inches. Yes, why not measure the diameter of this wheel so that we know that our calculation is correct. Ok, we will also measure the diameter. To measure the diameter, we have to draw a straight line joining both sides in such a way that the line goes through the center. Now let's measure this too. See, the diameter is also 18 inches on the scale. Yes! Now that we have measured the wheels of the bicycle, why not measure the rest of the wheels as well? Yes, let's measure all the wheels. Here is the wheel of the scooter. This is the front wheel of the tractor. And this is the tractor's rear wheel. Now let's find the center for all. Here is the center for all wheels. Now measure the distance from the center to the point on the boundary. Now look. The radius of the wheel of the scooter is 5 inches. This means its diameter will be 5 inches multiplied by 2 meaning 10 inches. Now look the radius of the front wheel of the tractor is 8 inches. This means its diameter is 16 inches. And now it's the turn of the largest wheel of the tractor. Its radius is 15 inches. This means its diameter is 30 inches. We took the measurement of all the wheels and now let us tell sir. Let's go. Today we learned to measure a circle, its radius is measured. The diameter of the circle is twice its radius. Diameter is equal to radius multiplied by 2. Radius is half the diameter. 
radius is equal to diameter divided by 2.